Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about closing the books. So what exactly does closing the books mean? If you remember, closing the books is the sixth step in the accounting cycle. It is done after the financial statements are prepared. So basically, when you close the books, you reduce the account balances to zero. Now it may be confusing at first, but let me use a trial balance to illustrate what happens. We have here two T accounts, namely for sales and purchases. As I said, when you close a balance, you simply reduce the account balances to zero. Thus, to close the balance for sales, you want to get an ending balance of zero. Here. So how do you do that? By simply making a debit of the amount of 520000 And the same goes for purchases. You want to get an ending balance of zero, so you simply make a credit of 300000 Simply put, the basic concept is, when you want to close a balance, simply make a debit or a credit to the opposite of the account's normal balance. Taking the example earlier, sales has a normal credit balance, so to close it, we made a debit. Now that you have the basic concept of closing balances, here are some important details to note. Remember that there are three main types of accounts, namely the permanent or real accounts, the nominal or temporary accounts, and the mixed accounts. Permanent or real accounts have balances which are carried over to the next accounting period. These would include balances on the statement of financial position, namely your assets, liabilities, and capital. Then you have the nominal accounts. Since these are temporary, these balances are not carried forward to the next period. These would include balances found on the income statement, namely your income and expenses. The last type would be the mixed accounts, which have the nature of both real and nominal accounts. Basically, these include your prepaid expenses and unearned liabilities. Adjusting entries are prepared for these kinds of accounts to separate the nominal and real portions. Closing the books would focus on the nominal accounts since their balances are not carried forward and therefore need to be closed. Now you are ready for the process of closing the books. The first step is to close all nominal accounts which have credit balances to the income summary account. These accounts would include your sales and other forms of revenue, purchase returns and allowances, and purchase discounts. As I said before, to close a balance, simply make a debit or credit to the opposite of its normal balance. Since the normal balance of sales is credit, to close it, we make a debit to sales or other revenues and a credit to income summary. Next, you need to close all the nominal accounts with debit balances to the income summary. Nominal accounts with debit balances are typically your expenses and purchases, sales returns and allowances, and sales discounts. To close it, simply make a credit to whatever expenses incurred, which is the opposite of its normal debit balance and a debit to income summary. Next is you need to close the income summary account to the drawing account. A credit balance in the income summary would pertain to a net income, while a debit balance would mean a net loss. For our example, we have a net income of 200000 Thus, the income summary account has a credit balance. To close it, we must now make a debit to the income summary account and credit to the drawing account, as shown here. And lastly, the drawing account balances must be close to the capital account. In our case, we have a credit balance for the drawing account from step number 3. Thus, to close it, simply make a debit to drawing and a credit to the corresponding capital account. So that's it and I hope you guys learned something today.